Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a rundown of all my gear. Except for the camera I'm using now, which is a Nikon Coolpix B500 uh, to record it, and my tripod. I'll probably show you a picture of them both. I'll send one, put it up on the video. Okay, so this first, this is my bag. I'm not sure what brand it is. Um, wait, what does that say? can't read it. What does it say? USA Gear, I guess that's what it's called. So I have that tripod that I'm using. It's a beefier one. It's more my wind one. It's a lot stronger. And then I have this metal tripod, which is just kind of for nice days. That one's for windy. Here's my bag for my Nikon. Just a full bag. Comes with this is the original bag. Then the lens cap, Nikon. So when I open up my bag, you'll see manual for my other camcorder that's my time lapse one a uh, battery pack just for extra life this is my uh, dash cam it's just like a um, GoPro and I hang it upside down and then I flip it over and record my third and final camera is my camcorder it's just a regular type of camcorder connects to my, my stuff over Wi-Fi <clears throat> can connect over Wi-Fi so what I do all my time lapses on and it's probably the best it for sure is the best for time lapses because it has all the different settings video time lapse so then that's how I do that it doesn't have a great mic this camera has a much better mic it's got a little scratchy I have my extra cords they all take a USB a micro USB which is makes it a lot easier because they all use the same cord this type and this one the problem about this one is that you can't charge it when it's that because it's in this case but you can see out the back nice oops didn't turn on oh wait no it did and this one has this one's pretty good and it can this one can shoot in 4k but it's only 10 frames per second, so I don't usually shoot in it. So, that's most of my gear. I'll sh show a picture of my tripod and red camera, my Nikon. Okay, on to the next part of my video. The computer resources slash radars slash whatever you want to call it. Uh, showing what I, my resources are on the internet. First of all, the best one, obviously, National Weather Service. Just their website, they have hundreds of things. The home, just this, showing all the watches and warnings, all the thunderstorm warnings. Forecast, the, the severe weather, everything. You can look at long range, past weather, safety, information. There's like hundreds of pages, just hundreds of things you can just go and do and you can even search I could find anything I want and it just shows here everything and then it shows all the watches and warnings and I can, you can find exactly how you how, what they mean watches by state warnings by state I mean this is just one of the best ones for sure by far the next one or the same one even could be it's on the National Weather Service web website but it's Weather Prediction Center it's a part of it and it is uh, the forecast for the day it shows its national forecast charts today uh, not much except for down in Texas is a lot tomorrow uh, severe thunder or just thunderstorms up and around uh, day three Saturday more thunderstorms down in Texas and snow up in the north yeah this is the best one because or another good one because it shows pretty much everything uh, low pressure system high pressure systems shows all the fronts it's nice it's got all the snow, the rain, precipitation of any sort, dry if it's going to be dry, severe thunderstorms when they're possible, high pressure, which is that's what we're in right now, low pressure, everything. I think this is the, another great resource for anybody that's going to storm shoes. My third favorite resource is uh, the Severe predict Weather Prediction Center, the Storm Prediction Center. Uh, that's their main website because of their just how good they go into detail they show everything 
they will show you everything that you can see in the whole entire thing. You don't have to, every thunderstorm, all the tornado chants, anything like that, they show parts of it. It's just really good at showing you um, most of the details that you'll need. So yeah, the next one is the severe, the storm prediction center. It's a runoff of the National Weather Service, so it's still there, and NOAA, obviously. My fourth favorite one, it's still with the Storm Prediction Center, but it's their uh, outlooks. This is my favorite part of the Storm Prediction Center. Their outlooks, they're really, really helpful to know exactly where storms will be. Obviously, today there's a lot down in Texas and some up in the um, uh, New, New England area. Uh, tornado, it shows tornado probabilities, which is also really helpful for any sort of storm chasing or just in general if I want to know 2% down there 30% wind a 30% of enhanced wind shows day it shows through 8 days tomorrow there's not much Wednesday or Wednesday so 2 days from now there's another one down in Texas and then 4 through 8 it shows which is helpful this one there's actually some chances for a lot of it up and it's still down here in the south yeah, so this is my fourth favorite one. It's still a part of the uh, Storm Prediction Center and the National Weather Service. My fifth favorite uh, resource is the uh, Mesoscale Analysis. It's by the Storm Prediction Center as well, but it, this one is like, you can tell like pre-watch uh, where they're going to put a watch. Like, it shows you the radars from everywhere. You can look up in the head with the HER radar. I didn't add that one because it's sometimes hard to use, but the HER is um, Hyper Rapid Refreshing Radar, and it shows a lo long range um, forecast for the day. Like, it shows multiple, 10 hours later it shows. Uh, but yeah, I like this one because it's like, it's a good way to know watches before they're going to happen. So then you can be prepared for watches and warnings. My sixth and final resource I use is uh, weather.us. This is the only one on this list that isn't a runoff of NOAA or National Weather Service or anything like that. This is just a, all in all a really great radar. It's You can go exactly where you want. You can pick your radar spot, lacrosse, radar. You can go anywhere you want in the whole entire United States. I can zoom out. I can see the whole entire United States at once. Wait for it to load. There you go, and I can see all the storms. You can go to their satellite, which are really, really detailed. There's that. It's it just perfect. I, I love this one. It's It just has such a great uh, satellite systems. Um, there also is the Meso, what is it, 1 and 2. And then those are like the really detailed ones. They're only at one port of the, portion of the U.S., though, at a time. And then it has cloud top alert, which is how high the clouds are in that area. You can also do it in not Meso 1, Meso 1, which is just that one area. Why is that not working? There you go. Now you can see kind of the storms. It also has storm tracker. It shows where the storms are going to go, or most likely are going to go. has playback of hours, like five hours. And then it has... Uh, vertically integrated li er, uh, liquid, so then that helps. Lightning shows lightning strikes within the last few hours. This one has about everything. And then this one has rain, thunderstorm radar is what it's called. And it's just the blue equals rain. Th there's so much stuff. Uh, echo top, that's an important one for when you're looking at supercells. Like, look at that. You can see the red on there on Texas, how high those cloud tops are. Um, just most of this, this is probably one of the best ones, just if you're looking for a radar. I would say this is the best radar that there is anywhere at all, like on the whole entire everything. I don't even think that any of the National Weather Service are as good as this one is. I just want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing, anybody that has. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe for more. If you would like to know what this website is, it's called SubscriberCounter.com. It's, it is my favorite subscriber counter because it's got the best detailed stats it shows all the videos every like and everything 
shows your exact real time and it has a little chart thing at the bottom it tells you the exact second when you got your subscriber you can it, this it I didn't make that background it makes it itself everybody gets their own unique one I just want to thank you for watching subscribe for more uh, this is subscribercounter.com I will have the link to all of the website in the description and probably even a link to buy my ca the cameras I have in the description thank you guys for watching subscribe for more goodbye